Hey, I'm just glad we won. First of all, uh, Huff Flagler played really well, uh, really well. Coach team, and uh, Bo does a great job. Then we had five seniors out there too, so it's a very experienced team. But uh, it's our team. You can tell there's a lot of things they're trying to learn how to do. A lot of thinking going on out there. Uh, still trying to play some combinations and trying to figure out. I know as a new coach, I'm still trying to figure out what they can do and can't do. So, uh, but we've had two weeks of practice and uh, they're trying to do things they've never done before. Uh, we'll just continue to work at it. Uh, I didn't think we did a good job taking care of the basketball at all tonight. I turned it over 16 times. Uh, and Keith had six turnovers tonight between him and Marcus and uh, uh, they had ended up 16. So we did do a better job in taking care of the ball, but uh, we did make free throws tonight, which was important for us. But uh, we'll get more comfortable in the system. Those guys are still having to think a lot because they're used to playing, I think, a little slow. Coach, you, you said you're trying to figure out the things to do well and not do well. What what are some of those things, I guess, on both, both sides of that? Well, defensively, we didn't do very well. You know, We're not an overly athletic team. We don't have a margin of error. It's very small for us. Uh, we, we don't have a lot of ways to make up for mistakes when it doesn't go our way. And I think that we have to be uh, much better defensively. We have to rebound the ball much better. Uh, I think offensively, um, shot selection, we're learning what good shots are, what bad shots are. Uh, Sometimes you want to play fast, but we're in a complete hurry sometimes. And that's just typical when you're teaching something new. Um, when you're teaching motion or you're teaching whatever you're doing, sometimes guys have to think instead of react. And when you're thinking, that, that sometimes forces you to make bad decisions. Coach, Tom Kerr's having to start tonight. Sure. You've only played nine minutes. This year. We're going to see much in the second half. Yeah, it was a tough game, you know, for us. Uh, you know, we want to win the game. I want to give him minutes, but you know, they're a big guy, Chad July is the only big guy they really had. He fouled out. You know, he had 14 minutes or whatever in the game. And, uh, you know, so we were mismatched pretty much all night. So I thought it was really hard for Tom to, to really play. We were trying to do some things that, that I didn't think it would be good for him to be a part of right now. We're trying to win the game by 14, but. But Tom's going to be important for us when we do play against bigger teams, especially when we get into some of the better teams in our league. Uh, he's going to have to be vital for us. So, uh, uh, but I want to be able to play him uh, more than I did tonight. Rotation-wise, obviously you're still trying to figure out what you want to do as far as the rotation, who starts. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, there's nothing guaranteed. Some of these guys have played just because they started last year doesn't have anything to do with this year. Uh, there's some competition on this team. We have some youth and some guys who are still trying to figure out where they fit in. And, um, some of these guys haven't played together. I know we have some returners from last year, but uh, but there's also some new guys who are trying to fit in different roles. Coach Steele and Marcus got out to a great start, uh, at least scoring in the first half, sure. and uh, kind of toned down in the second half. Kind of that injury? Yeah, I think the injury, you got a hip pointer there. Kind of slowed him down, and they start cramping up. So uh, I only got two points in the second half there. I think both of them free throws. But he did make some good passes, and I thought he did some good things there. He's got to score for us. He's going to be important for us in being able to score and, uh, and be able to make things happen on offensive end. Played A.J. and Taylor more at the point tonight. Uh, is that kind of what you're going to do with early on as far as the veterans getting and you know, learning the system? Absolutely. Absolutely. You got Jarvis Davis. You know, he's a point I'd like to play more there, but he still needs more practice time and decision making. Um, I know he's playing against the veteran guard tonight. That's a very good player. Flagler, so uh, I kind of knew Taylor's going to be the backup guy here at this point. Next week you got the opener, obviously. you got practice time. I know that's going to be just as important as playing in the actual games. No, it really is. Yeah, we do. And, you know, the good thing is, you know, we got this weekend. we got about eight more days here to, to take this. The first time they've been in front of a crowd, so they're in the jitters. Uh, and putting on their uniforms and playing again. So uh, that will uh, be all part of the experience that hopefully gets us ready for next Friday. Well, what was that experience for you, Coach, uh, with, with some of the fans? Uh, you know, you get the screaming banana uh, yeah. all over the opposite team. And sure. Do the sure. section. What, what, what's it like for you? Well, it's good. You know, it's, uh, it's good to be here. I still feel like I'm on a road game, you know, without <laughs> being here. But, uh, but it's, it's good to uh, to be here and be in front of the fans here tonight. Appreciate everybody coming out. And uh, hopefully we'll, next Friday when we play, we get four people come out here and support us. Thanks, Coach. Oh, yes.